Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to episode number 44 of the Detroit Lions franchise here on Madden NFL 21. Today our Detroit Lions, who sit at 6-6 six and six now, face the 4-8 and eight Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa. Lions coming off of a big win last week on the road against Cincinnati thanks to this man, Seth Williams, a third round pick out of Auburn, really broke out with an 8 catch 143 yard performance we'll need more of that in this game as we are still without Galladay and if you're excited for this one make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below especially if you want more franchise content the Lions will start off with the football Cordell Patterson brings it out to the 26 and here comes now the NFL league leader in interceptions Matthew Stafford yes not the best stat to advertise but it is true 19 touchdowns, 17 interceptions on the season, 3,100 yards. He had a big game last week in Cincinnati before the fourth quarter where he threw his pair of picks. The so Lions start off with the ball on the 26. It's a handoff to Johnson, and Johnson gains six. Lions really try to rely on the ground game last week. As you can see, he had 25 carries and 90 yards. This week, I do think they're going to try to pass a little bit more, especially with such a stout Tampa Bay front four. And right when I say that, they start off with back-to-back -back runs. There's DeAndre Swift with two, making it third and two. Two tight ends underneath center. It is a pass, though. Stafford's going to scroll to his right. There is a flag down. He picks up the first for now, but this one will be coming back. They're going to get holding on the offense, more specifically Kalechi Osimile on that right guard spot. So now it's third and 12 instead. Stafford's going to try to throw for it. Here comes Shaq Barrett, and he's hit as he throws. And it is incomplete, and that'll force a punt for the Lions. So here comes Tom Brady, who leads a 4-8 Buccaneer squad. Only 15 touchdowns, 11-6 on the season. People have been asking themselves all season, has Tom Brady finally fallen off that proverbial cliff that Max Kellerman was talking about all those years ago? We'll have to see in this one as he comes out empty set. Expect a lot of passing from this Buccaneer squad as they have playmakers and all over the field here's one of them Chris Godwin the former number 12 gets the ball on the first play of the game now second and one Tom Brady across the middle quickly this time it's Mike Evans the other receiver and he will pick up the first down Brady starts off with two straight completions they're going to stay with empty he's on first and ten it's to throw right side here's Rob Gronkowski this time hitting three different targets he maybe gets one now third and six they're still in this empty look Tom Brady going to look across the middle of the field. And he has a wide open O.J. Howard. The backup tight end gets it to the 32-yard line. And Tampa Bay is rocking and rolling on their first drive for a gain of 21. New set of downs. Tom Brady still going to throw for it. As he's looking, he's going to check it down left side. There's Gronk again. Gains maybe about two. How about third and two now? Three tight ends for Tampa Bay. Hand off Ronald Jones left side. And he's not going to get it. Christian Jones with the stop. That'll force a fourth and three for Tampa Bay. As they go to kick it. No, it's a fake. The pass left side wide open and the lineman drops it. That was the rookie Sam Ellinger with the pass. Beautiful pass. It was just dropped. And Tampa Bay gets nothing out of it. Now a new chance for the Lions. That one's incomplete looking for Patterson. Now third and nine. Bunch to Stafford's right. Here comes Shaq Barrett on him he's going to throw it right side to Swift I don't know if Swift caught that he's not going to get the first though but Lions are stopped so both defenses starting to settle in on this one as here comes Tom Brady at his second drive with Tampa Bay across the middle that was batted down by Jamie Collins who's had a phenomenal season second and 10 now delay give to Ronald Jones he bounces out right side he's hit hard by Collins before he finished off making it third and seven Play fake Tampa. Tom Brady in the pocket. Nice blitz pickup on that left side by Jones. Going to throw it, and he is intercepted. Tom Brady is picked off by Jeff Okuda. Okuda gets up, and he returns it to the 33-yard line. Brady picked off Okuda's third interception of the season. We'll take another look at this one. I think he had a man open on the right side, but the arm strength has fallen off in recent years, and he can't get it over Okuda, and that results in the first takeaway of the game. So now the Lions with good field position inside Tampa Bay territory. First and 10. There's a check down to the returning Danny Amendola. Lions glad to have him back in that slot role. Second and three. They're going to go with a little RPO to Amendola on the bubble screen. He's going to pick up the first, get it inside the red zone. And the Lions looking to score first in this one. 
First and 10, delayed gift to carry on Johnson. He's met immediately. There's Vita Vea, one of the strongest defensive tackles in the league with the stop. Second and 10, they're going to throw for it. It's a blitz, and it's a screen to Swift, but beautifully tracked down by the second-year man, Winfield, as he ran all the way across the field to get that one. And now it's going to make it third and 14. Tampa bringing another blitz. Throw the end zone. Incomplete, but there is contact. And they're going to get pass interference. Cordero Patterson was hit in the end zone. That's going to put the ball at the one-yard line. So the Lions with a beautiful chance to score here. Stafford sees something he likes on the left side. He's going to look that way. And wide open is Danny Amendola. Touchdown, Lions. Amendola's first touchdown of the season. And the Lions strike first. Amendola, remember, had 10 scores a season ago. But waits till game 13 to get the first one this year. The Lions are going to end the first quarter up 7 to nothing, as Tampa Bay now has the football looking for an answer. They're at, well, actually skipping the Tampa Bay. We're going to actually skip to the Lions next drive, as Tampa Bay went three and out. We're going to start off with a two-yard run to Swift, now making it third and five. Swift still in the ball game. They're going to try to set up a screen for him again. This time it does succeed. Swift gets the first and races to midfield, and the Lions have a new set of downs. Swift so stays in the ball game. It's an RPO, and it should have been intercepted. And Joe Dahl is hurt on the play, so disaster avoided for the Lions. Third and ten, Stafford in the pocket. He's going to go down. That pocket collapsed fast. Is Jeremiah Tachu around the edge? He had Barrett on the other side, and that'll be a punt for the Lions. So now Tom Brady, can he get something going here? Well, I'm going to start off with play action. Tom Brady drifts back, and he barely gets rid of it. It's broken up for Evans. Good defense by Anthony Levine. Making it second and 10 now. Another play fake to Jones. Tom Brady in the pocket. Backing up some more. Looking deep left side. And it is intercepted again. Desmond Trufant comes away with this one. Looking for O.J. Howard downfield. That's Trufant's third interception of his season. And Brady has been picked off twice in the first half. Just doesn't have the arm strength he used to. And now the lines are set up at about midfield. First and 10, Stafford drifts to his left. He's going to take off with this one. It gets a block by Amendola, and Stafford gets about seven. Now second and three, everybody in tight. They're going to hand off to Johnson. He's going to run up the middle, has some space, and a first down to go along with it. He's got four for 13 so far. You set it down for the Lions. Quick pass across the middle. There's Amendola, and he races deep into Buccaneers territory. Out to the 23, a quick gain of 18 through the air. Border of the red zone. Stafford, now this time another RPO bubble screen to Amendola. Doesn't quite work out as well as the other one as he gains four. Now second and seven. Empty set here for the Lions. Buccaneers bring pressure. Stafford counters with a throw. The end zone is dropped by Tyler Vaughns. That was a touchdown. It's now third and seven. Stafford looking right side. Beautiful pass to James over the head of David, but he can't hold on as well. Two phenomenal passes by Stafford. Receivers letting him down. And the Lions gain only a field goal as they extend their lead to 10-0. Tampa Bay. Tom Brady looking to get into some sort of rhythm. There's a check down for maybe a gain of one. Still looking to throw it here. This time right side. There's a wide open Mike Evans past the first down marker. So maybe Tom Brady starting to get into a little bit of a rhythm here. He crosses 3,000 yards on the season finally. First and 10, another first down pass. Brady in the pocket, barely gets this pass off as he throws it away. Second and 10 now. Jones is still in the backfield. Brady looking to set up a screen, and he can't get rid of the ball in time. Trey Flowers with the easiest sack that he'll ever receive. Maybe lets Brady hear about it as well. He's now third and 17, setting up another screen for Jones. He's not going to quite get there. Interesting call by this Buccaneers offense as they continue to stagnate here in the first half. So the Lions with a prime opportunity to extend their lead. First and 10 looking left side, and they can't connect on that curl again. Good defense by Murphy Bunting over there. Third and eight now. Stafford drifts back in the pocket, lets this one heave right side, and it is incomplete. Tyler Vaughns couldn't bring it in. That'll be another punt, and that'll take us to the two-minute warning. Lions up 10-0, but the Buccaneers have the ball at about midfield. And they get their first drive going at the two-minute mark. Quick pass by Brady to Gronk. He's wrestled down quickly. Nice open field tackle by Trufant. And the Buccaneers go no huddle. Brady 
Looking to throw. Right side checks it down. There's Jones again. He's going to maybe gain about six on the check down. But Buccaneers still moving fast. Lions come down in the double A gap. Blitz it. And they throw it with a nice counter to Gronkowski who bounces off a couple defenders. And the Buccaneers will huddle again. Taking it down to the one minute mark. Brady looking to throw again. Check down. And is wrestled down by Tavai. And the Buccaneers will use their first timeout. Second and six now. They're tight in the formation. Four wide receivers. Three and one tight end. Second and six. Brady's going to backpedal. And he's going to be brought down for a sack. That knocks him out of field goal range. Now third and 19. Brady in the pocket again. The pocket is collapsing. And he's going to go down again. Thrown down by Romeo Okora. That takes the Buccaneers out of field goal range. And they don't get a single point in the first half. The Lions with a 10-0 lead here. Can they get win number five in a row? We'll have to find out in the second half. Playoffs is coming up as most teams have about four games left. We'll take a look around the league starting off in Minnesota in a nice wild card matchup. Vikings win 28-14 over the Washington football teams. The Kirk Cousins four touchdown passes helps their chances of reaching the playoffs. Down in Charlotte, two teams are about out of the playoff races. The Panthers up 14 to nothing on the Patriots as Cam Newton looks for some revenge against his old team. And then finally in Tennessee, where the Bills, the best team in the AFC, lead 28 to 21 at the half. MVP favorite right now, Tannehill has 169 yards and a touchdown at the end of one half. We'll go back here in this one. Buccaneers starting off with the football at their own 28-yard line. Brady look, fires quick right side. There's the rookie out of Alabama, Jalen Waddle. First time calling his name. Waddle was a first-round selection by Tampa Bay, looking to even strengthen their receiving core even more. A so second and five quick check down to the running back. Nice pass. That was Tavai in coverage, but he couldn't break it up. Now they're going to go underneath center, and here is a rare handoff by Tampa Bay. Only Jones' six carry of the day. Run game hasn't done much, to say the least. Now third and seven, tight formation, quick pass left side, though. Waddle again, this time has the first down in front of Justin Coleman, who's had good coverage so far today. That'll move the sticks. Waddle's third catch of the day. And the two tight end look now. They're going to hand off to Jones up the middle, and he falls forward for a gain of five. Making it a more manageable second and five. Back in the shotgun is Brady looking to pass here. As left side, there is a pass. That is O.J. Howard wide open in front of Levine, and he's got the first down. A lot of zone coverage here today for the Lions. They feel like they can't really match up one-on-one -on -one against all these weapons, so they've played a lot of zone here today. Buccaneers look like they're trying to get the ground game going here in the second half. There's a stretch handoff to Jones for a quick gain. Now third and four, four-man blit pressure by the Lions, and it's a quick check down again. Tavai lets the running back once more gain the first down. And if you're wondering why Tavai is playing a lot in the nickel set, Nate Lamon actually got hurt in this game. He is not going to return, so Tavai getting a lot of those nickel snaps. Remember, he was benched earlier in the year for Lamon. As now it is goal to go for Tampa Bay. They get it down to the one, thanks to Ronald Jones. Second and goal. Brady is feeling it, if you didn't notice. Throws right side, and Gronk elevates for the touchdown. Gronkowski absolutely mosses Justin Coleman, realizing that he still has it. The best red zone threat in the league comes away with a grab, and it's now 10-7. Buccaneers finally on the scoreboard. And the Lions look to maintain their hold of the lead. They're going to start off with a run to Swift, who picks up the first in a little bit more. That's only Swift's sixth handoff of the day. New set of downs are going to go right back to Swift, this time not as successful. Beautiful tackle by Levante David, the captain of this Buccaneers defense. As his second and nine now, handoff to Johnson. Johnson's going to have a lane. He's going to make it into Tampa Bay territory. Vitae, however, shaken up on the play. He will come out. And Tyrell Crosby is now in at right tackle. We'll see if that makes a difference. He's on first and 10 play action. Stafford drifts to his left, trying to get away from pressure, and he just heaves it to the Detroit bench. It's now second and 10. Buccaneers bring pressure. The counter with an RPO to Tyler Vaughn, who's going to beat his man on the slant pattern. And that's a first down. Stafford now over 50% passing on the day. Hasn't been the best day for Stafford. 
He's on first and ten. Excellent coverage. Levante David covering a wide receiver. He can do it all, folks. Third and five. Blitz coming for Tampa Bay, and it's going to get home. That is Devin White straight through the gap. One of the fastest linebackers in the league. And that'll make it a 56-yarder now for Matt Prater. He kicks it up, and it is good. Matt Prater drills the 56-yarder. As Remember, he signed an extension for next year last week. Well, hopefully that can carry over. That'll take us to the end of the third quarter. Detroit up 13-7. to But the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are trying to swing the momentum. As they start off with the fourth quarter in Detroit territory. Second and five, setting up a screen pass. And it connects. Ronald Jones also left this game with an injury. So we won't be seeing him anymore. We might see a lot of Keyshawn Vaughn. Third and ten, Vaughn is in the game. Has a quick pass right side, and it's to Godwin. He's not going to reach the first down marker, but he'll make it a more manageable fourth and three. And this Lions Buccaneers squad, they're going to go for it. Fourth and three. Realizing that a field goal isn't really going to help them. They're going to go with the handoff, and Collins is unblocked. Meets Vaughn in the backfield, and that is a fourth down stop for Detroit. Big fourth down stop trying to swing this momentum back in their favor. First and ten, handoff Swift. Vita Vea is going to meet him. His run game has had a hard time getting going today. Second and 12 now. Johnson checks into the ball game. It's a quick pass attempt for Stafford. He has nobody open. Going to roll to his left side. Tries to fire it downfield, but it's incomplete. Now third and 12. Buccaneers, they only bring four. Stafford in the pocket, dancing. Going to throw it deep down the middle of the field. And it's intercepted. That is Winfield with the pick. Looking for Amendola down the seam. Winfield goes up and makes the interception as that's Stafford's 18th of the season. Now the Buccaneers again with the football only down by six. They check it down to Gronkowski right side. That'll pick up four. Jones is actually back in the ball game. He does return. As on second and six, Waddle with the grab. Doesn't quite make it to the first down marker. But it's going to be third and one now. Tom Brady's completed 21 straight passes. NFL record is 25, set by a couple of different QBs. But on third and one, it's the ground game going to pick it up. OJ Howard, however, does have to come off the field. So now a new set of downs for Tom Brady. He's going to look to throw it. Tom Brady tries to check it down, and that was incomplete. Tavai with nice coverage, so he does break the streak at 21. So no history today for Tom Brady. He's on second and 10. Just a lob right side, and Godwin mosses two defenders. Did I say the Buccaneers have great receivers? Well, there's another nice grab. There's a nice defensive play, however, on Jamie Collins. Bats that one down. Now second and 10. Brady going to check it down. There's Jones out of the backfield. He has the first down, and he's into Detroit territory. The Buccaneers, remember, a touchdown takes the lead. First and 10. Brady. In the shotgun, going to look to throw it here. Throws a deep right side. There's a man wide open. It's caught. Godwin touchdown. Buccaneers. What happened on this play? Godwin, we'll take another look at this one. Just streaks by both Coleman and Okuda. It was cover three. Okuda, I don't think, realized it. Broken coverage leads to a touchdown. And Tampa Bay has the lead. And they finally take the lead here in the fourth quarter. Lions got to get something going on offense. Here's a quick pass to Amendola. Second and four now. Three receivers still in the ball game. Stafford maneuvers in the pocket. Finds Patterson on the slant pattern. Nice catch by Cordero. He's out to the 40. Six and a half minutes left to go in this game still. Stafford in the pocket. Tries to throw it deep. He's hit as he throws. That one falls harmlessly to the turf. Buccaneers have played very good defense today. So I was kind of worried about. Third and seven. Now Stafford in the pocket. He's getting chased, and he's going down. There is Shaq Barrett finally getting to Stafford. He's provided plenty of pressure today, but he gets his first sack here, and the Lions have to punt. To keep an eye on the clock, there's three and a half minutes left to go in this game. That's a beautiful spin move by Jones, and he's rewarded with the first down. That hurts the Lions' chances. They need to stop here. Clock is underneath three minutes. They still have all three timeouts. Brady, however, is going to throw on first down. Very peculiar call by Tampa Bay, but he has a man open who comes back for the football. Jalen Waddle with the beautiful big-time grab, his fifth of the day. And that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. The Lions, they need a stop. Is on first and ten. Tampa Bay has the ball at the 20. 
Handoff Jones left side, and he's going to find the end zone. Forget a stop. Tampa Bay answers with a touchdown as Jones had a perfect lane, and he finds the end zone. And Detroit goes down by eight. Now they need a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Forget the stop. Can Stafford lead his team down the field? There's a nice catch by Jesse James, his first of the day. Detroit, however, not going to hurry up. They want to hold on to all three of their timeouts. 90 seconds left to go in this one. Stafford checked down Swift. He's going to be brought down by David inbounds. And now the Lions side to go hurry up. Play action to Swift. Stafford looking across the middle. Finds Vaughn's Nice catch, but he stays inbounds. Lions finally use their first timeouts. They still have two more. Minute four to go in this one. Now first and ten. Stafford checks it down left side. Swift, sorry for the pop-ups. Swift barely gets anything, actually loses four, and the clock is still rolling. Stafford trying to maneuver at the line, getting pressured by Vita Vea, checks it down to Swift. Swift gets away from the defender. He stays in bounds, though. There is a flag down, however. It is roughing the passer. We saw Vita Vea giving chase. He gave chase a little bit too long. And that's an extra 15. Taylor Decker, however, also is shaken up on the play. He will come out for the rest of this one. So now Lions, first and 10 at the 18. What a grab by Amendola. Gets it to the two-yard line. Lions, however, do use timeout number two. So now just a simple two yards from scoring. Buccaneers, though, bring pressure. Stafford can't get rid of it. He goes down. That is a sack, and now they go hurry up. They don't even use their last timeout. Five seconds left to go in this one. Stafford rolls right side, throws for the end zone. It's incomplete. However, there is a second left. What can the Lions do? Tampa Bay is showing pressure here. They back out of it. But there's a man wide open down the middle. Amendola for touchdown. Six points. His second of the day. And now the Lions, with no time on the clock, are a two-point conversion attempt from tying this one. What can they draw up here? This is game. No time left on the clock. Last play of the game. Stafford in the pocket. He's pressured. He's going to go down. Shaq Barrett with the sack. And that is your ball game. Lions, their four-game win streak comes to a halt as the Buccaneers win 21-19. And if you remember, Taylor Decker got hurt on that drive. Backup left tackle comes in. Shaq Barrett absolutely annihilates him. Let's take another look at that two-point conversion play, shall we? Look at that left side. That's the backup Jake Burton in. Barrett just swim moves his way around him. Swift has to pick up the inside pressure. Nowhere for Stafford to go. He goes down. Nice play by Tampa Bay. And you got to wonder what could have happened if Taylor Decker was at least in the ballgame. Nonetheless, though, it was a beautiful game played by Tampa Bay. I was worried, even though they were 4-8, and eight, they have playmakers in all levels, both on offense and defense. Also, probably we were able to stop their offense for as long as we did. Tom Brady had a great second half. First half, it took him a while to get going. I don't know if he's quite fallen off the cliff yet. His arm strength is definitely not there. We'll have to wait and see if this is his last year as a starter. You get a couple upgrades. DeAndre Swift gets one. Tyler Vaughn gets one as well. And if you look at his progression, we'll see that we might see his dev trait in the next week or two. He's really improved so far this season. Will Harris, a backup strong safety, gets an upgrade. I'm interested in giving Will Harris a chance maybe down the stretch, get him on the field a little bit more. I think he does have some potential. Tracy Walker also gets an upgrade. We give him the hybrid three-man coverage. You'll love to see that as he's got great coverage already for his safety. And now plus three man, his man is up to 80. Take a look at the week 14 as the playoffs nears and take a look at some of the scores. A couple big games that we're going to highlight starting off with that Thursday night matchup. Remember, the, we did see the Vikings beat Minnes or beat the football team. Excuse me, Minnesota is the Vikings. Kirk Cousins, four touchdown passes. Haskins did have two, but this win gives Minnesota the seven seeds. So they now reach the playoffs. Washington is still a wild card, but now Minnesota owns the tiebreaker coming down the stretch. We'll have to see if that factors in. Second game is probably the biggest game in the NFC. The Green Bay Packers beat the 49ers 13-10. Both squads looking for that number one seed. And the Packers solidify their hold on that with a win. As remember, the 49ers were the two seed just a week ago. And we'll have to take a look and see where they fall in the playoff hunt. As see a couple of sacks. 
And then lastly, the last game was another NFC West battle. This time it's the Seattle Seahawks beating the Los Angeles Rams on the road. And with this win, Seattle is now your leader in the NFC West. So the 49ers, they just went from the two seed all the way to a wild card now. So the Seattle Seahawks can't sleep on them as they look for another run at the Super Bowl with Russell Wilson leading the helm. Both quarterbacks played well today. However, Aaron Donald had two sacks and Bobby Wagner had picked off Jared Goff. Here's your players of the week. We saw Landon Collins' double-digit tackle game, but the interception gets it. Nick Foles bounces back after a rough stretch, passing for 398 yards and three scores. Jordan Howard and Kevin Byard get it in the AFC. Byard had the triple hat trick, interception, forced fumble, and fumble recovery. While Howard just ran for, oh, just a casual 219 yards and three touchdowns. We do have an injury decision. TJ Hawkinson could come back, but he has broken ribs, so why the heck would I rush him back with broken ribs? We'll give Jesse James some more of the starts. As you can see, here is your look at the playoff picture. Plenty of movement in the NFC. 49ers drop to the sixth seed. Seattle is now the four seed. Atlanta is in the two spot, and you see Minnesota cracks it in the seventh position. So, speaking of playoffs, our playoff chances took a huge hit as we now sit at six and seven, and we're going to go to San Francisco to face probably a ticked-off 49ers squad. This has the making to be a blowout if we're not careful. 49ers remind me of Tampa Bay in a lot of regards. They have playmakers on all levels of the defense. And we saw how that gave us fits against Tampa Bay. Great front four. Captain in the middle, Fred Warner. Probably the most underrated linebacker in my opinion. Fred Warner never, I feel like, gets the credit that he deserves. And then they still have Richard Sherman in a young corner. We'll take a look at Israel Muklamu coming up in the league. But at the helm, 4-49ers is still Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo. He's still a solid quarterback, arguably a top 10 quarterback in the league. He does what he's asked, and he wins ball games for San Francisco. They definitely, however, have arguably the best tight end in football, George Kittle, who's sitting at a 99. That is a matchup nightmare. We're going to have to really hope Tracy Walker has the game of his life. Speaking of that defense, bookended on the left end and right end spot. Eric Armstead on one side. Nick Bosa on the other side. Our tackles are really going to have their hands full. Thankfully, they're both healthy. But we'll have to see if we can stop them. Fred Warner, the captain of the defense, like I mentioned, one of the most underrated linebackers. He can do it all. 87 zone coverage. He will be flying around the field. And in that secondary, Richard Sherman, they have a nice veteran and a nice young superstar. Sherman's still one of the best cover corners in the league. And on the other side, we'll see the rookie out of South Carolina, Israel Mukwamu, 6'4". He's still got a lot to grow, to, room to grow, but at 6'4", you cannot deny the intangibles of Mukwamu. Well, that'll be in the next episode. Sorry that our four-game win streak had to come to an end, but hopefully we can rebound against an 8-5 San Francisco 49er squad and maybe make a last-ditch effort to make the postseason. That'll do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one.